Okay, here's the deal. I work tonight. I went to visit my parents before work, but they're not home. I've kind of been in the mood to do like another ghost hunt or something like kind of spooky lately just because it's been so long. And I remembered that in my parents' neighborhood is this weird, very, very, very old cemetery just kind of in the middle of the like suburban development. So since nobody's home, and I was just like sitting around reading, which I do need to do because Potter Month, um, I thought I would go on a quick little adventure and go see the cemetery. Again, it's been years and we used to like ride bikes there when we were kids and we would like freak ourselves out. But I mean, you know how kids are, so I'm sure it's not near as scary as it was when I was little. It's probably pretty freaking cool actually. So um, I'm gonna go back and we'll find out together if it is as awesome slash terrifying as I remember. It's actually very pretty with the snow and the sun and the woods. This isn't creepy at all. Kids are stupid. <laughs> This is totally unreadable. I think some of the other ones are in better shape. Here we go. Jacob Pickering Died January 11th, 1860. That's coming up, actually. And his wife... It says she was born in 1702. This is really hard to read. Died 1838, maybe? This tiny one is from 1842. And this one has seen better days. I always think these older headstones are so beautiful. Nancy Young. So as you can see, it's not a large cemetery. It's very, very old and it's nestled between like, I mean, there's a house right next door, all of these houses. It's kind of cool. That would be a little weird to live next to, I think. I would have probably had a lot of nightmares about this place as a kid. I kind of already did, but we aren't especially close to this. Just in our neck of the woods a little bit. But yeah, it's actually pretty beautiful. Oh my gosh, I almost tripped over these guys. I really, really should have worn gloves today. It's like 17 degrees outside. Oh my goodness. Well, my phone died. So I got cut off kind of abruptly there. It is not near as scary as I remember it as a kid. It's actually a pretty cool place to visit. You guys have any weird things like that in your neighborhood? I know, like there are a couple neighborhoods in this area that have like very, very old cemeteries or weird like monuments in the middle of it. Um, so I think stuff like that is so cool. Quick Potter Month update, I am on Prisoner of Azkaban. I'm on chapter eight. I have a long way to go. I'm off tomorrow, so I'm hoping I can get it done then. I also picked up my meal today for my parents and I got some really, really, really good stuff. Again, with the emotional shopping, uh, I got the Princess Leia, Alex and Ani bracelet. 
And I also got sent to me this amazing headband. I love this so much. From my friend, she runs Mini Chic Boutique and I did some work with her last year. And I sent her some flower crowns for Christmas and she sent me this and I love it so much. And I will buy all of these headbands, seriously. Just take my money. And I also got, opening these things up one hand is not easy. I got this cute little Mickey Mouse necklace. There we go. <laughs> that works. This little Mickey Mouse necklace. I got it on Etsy. It was only like $13. And I just thought it was adorable. And I can't remember the name of the shop right now. If I had to guess, it's like pretty little jewelry. <laughs> I don't know. That's what I'm going with. But yeah, I really, this was a great meal day. This was like Christmas part two. So work tonight, off tomorrow. I think I am going to go thrifting tomorrow. I haven't gone in a really long time and I'm looking for some Disney bounding inspiration. So I'll take you guys thrifting with me tomorrow and I'll see you then. Bye.